Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Animal Crossing on the GameCube. So uh, let's get into this one. It is after 5 p.m. so most of these bugs are not going to be available. We can try for the koi fish and the large bass. They are both river fish and it is raining again I see. So we can go for the legendary fish. Uh, and then also there are some uh, some of the bugs we might be able to catch. I don't know if bees and ants and pill bugs and mole crickets are available during the rain, but if that happens, we can grab that. Uh, so we earned 3,603 points, and yeah, we live like an animal. <laughs> Throw it away. All right, the left wing of the... Is it Terra Terradon? Pteranodon is the P-Silent. So I think we finished this guy. This guy should be done now. Nice. Uh, my dear D-Day, I chanced upon this in the next town over and simply couldn't resist buying it for you. Just look at it. It's perfect for you. Was I wrong? Cool. It's something from Mom. Let's see what it is. Is it close? It's a Papa Bear. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oop, let me read. It is a Stegosaurus torso. I think we have this guy already. That's too bad. And lastly, it's a dinosaur egg. I'm not sure. Did we, do we have a dinosaur egg? I know we have the track. Okay, all of these we can drop. And let's also fill this up. Ooh, I like this paper. And right. There we go. Okay. Alright, and we'll turn on the lights. Yeah, it is pretty filthy in here. Let's go ahead and drop the cherry shirt, because I do like it. This one is the, the BB shirt, the black one. Mm, I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and keep it. And then let's see what the Papa Bear looks like. Ooh, is it huge? Papa Bear. It's massive. <laughs> It, it's obnoxious. There we go. Alright, let's get rid of the pond. Uh, if if I want the pond back, we can always just buy it back, right? right we don't need any pond fish. Let's see. Do come around. We need to buy all of the flowers now that I know we can't order them. Alright, we'll sell the garden pond. How much is it worth? 645 species. Nope. Nope. Oh, and another rock. What is this? Is this a cupboard? A wardrobe. It's kind of cool. But it's... No. I'm not going to buy a giant pear. We got the axe. Finally. Yes, I want the axe. Thank you. Yep, we, had, we uh, face a tree and swing the axe three times. And then we use the shovel to pull out the stump. Yep, it's smart to thin them out. There we go. Let's go ahead and buy all the flowers. Red tulips, nice. Purple pansies. There we go. And that's all we need. Do come again. Okay, so we have flowers here. Let's put some flowers in A1. There we go. Flowers in A1. 
I'm kind of curious. Uh, I did leave some of the fruit on the ground, so maybe if it's spoiled, we might be able to uh, get some ants coming, coming to visit us. Oops. It sure does rain a lot. Kind of crazy. Let's see, I think I left some oranges on the ground over here. They're still good. We have an umbrella. It's funny that someone dumps an umbrella during, during the rain. And we have a cabana bookcase. That sounds kind of cool. Oranges. A lot of oranges. And there's our tree. I wonder if it's fully grown. Yay! We got it. Yes! Got the golden shovel. What'll I dig up with this? There we go. And it's kind of cool. We get to keep a golden tree. cool is I can bury the uh, the regular shovel for a chance at another golden shovel. Nice. Money rock. Aww. Money, money. Stacking really would be nice. Alright, let's head down here. What's great is every time we dig, we have a chance at uh, digging up money now. Because we have the golden shovel. Exciting. Yay, and a fossil spot. Check it out. All right, since we're right here, let's go ahead and donate. Where are you sleeping? It's almost six o'clock. All right, we can donate. The Stego Torso, the left wing. Hoo hoo, a, a Terra left wing. What's this now? Why our Patera Pteranodon is complete. Simply marvelous. Truly, this is all beyond. This is beyond all joy. Indeed, woohoo, amazing. I'm all a flutter. I'm a Twitter. Now then, how can I begin to do a bit of justice to this magnificent master of the skies? First things first, this winged creature is not actually a dinosaur, but rather a flying reptile. It did, however, live among many dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. Fascinating. The structure of his immense wings suggests that it stayed aloft by gliding rather than flapping. Imagine, with wingspans over 23 feet swooping down to catch fish in their pelican-like beaks. <laughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. Beaks, wings, flying. It's so very close to home. You have our deepest and most profound gratitude. Cool. So we completed our first dinosaur. And the egg. Hoo-hoo, a fossilized egg. Eggsless. I must apologize for that atrocious pun. <laughs> I got carried away in my egg excitement because this is grade A specimen. That's terrible. Now, I hate to admit this, but I cannot identify the species of dinosaur that produced this particular egg. I can envision its hatching, though, and from the shards, a new life slowly emerging. A miracle of flesh and bone. The wonder of it all, the drama, the spectacle, the ebb and flow, the grass and grit, life, I say. Mercy, who, who am I? I must apologize for boost profusely. I was lost in the moment. My beak flaps on its own. Nice. And I wanted to check. I think we already have the Stegosaurus. Yep. We 
got it, so we can sell it. Quite a hoot. There should be a cancel button. There really should be. Let's go. And that's it. Let's go check out our uh, completed dinosaur. Nice. Complete. Cool. So yeah, Stegosaurus, torso and tail. We need the T-Rex body and tail. The Triceratops body. What is this one called? The Apatosaurus. Okay. And we're missing one more uh, of the small items. Which which one is it? We got the egg. We got the track. The amber. The trilobite. Well, I guess I'll I'll know which one it is when the time comes. Is there something up here? Oh yeah, the flowers. Check lost and found. We don't have anything. Alright, let's check the ocean and see if there's a massive shadow swimming around for us. I know there are some bugs that uh, require us to chop down some trees and leave the stump because the bug lands on the stump. Perfect. Oh, found the, the glowing spot. Check it out, dug up a thousand bells. So let's go ahead and bury the other shovel here just for the funsies. Oh. Number two. Aw, that fish ran away. Move. I think it's Pillbug. That is a huge shadow. Please let me catch this guy. Ah, one not fair guys I think that was the fish because that shadow was huge and there's another spot right here all right and we can put these up one two whoop. So bummed. Really, I really think that was it. That was that was the legendary one. Makes me wonder how incredibly rare they are. Ah, 
I didn't mean to hit him. Is he gonna aim? Is he gonna show? Go back to shore? Ah, I was about to say I'm gonna hit him again. One, two, three. Ah, mean. Ah, I got antsy on that one. Ah, I hit him. Turn around. You're too far away now. Two, three, four, and five. Nice! Five grand. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Nice! Another five grand. Game's trying to make up for me losing out on that. The massive fish. One, two, three. Nope, not gonna happen. I wish there was more of a warning sign. Instead of just getting lucky. Because there really is no way to catch a fish. One, two, three, four, five. Sea bass. We'll drop them back in the ocean if we fill up. Whoop. Dude, come on, I'm not even holding down the button. I wonder why my wave bird keeps trying to trying to sprint. Ah. Dude, quit it. It's a boot. Can I? I keep hoping that this would work. Oh, it's a mosquito in the rain. What's up with that? Quit sprinting, fool. Got lucky. I was gonna recast. Thought I was hearing something in the game for a second there. I was trying to listen. Because I know there's one fish, or one bug that's underground. One, two. Ah. Nope. 
go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. Three grand. One, two, three, four, five. Man. Say no to sea bass. All right, let's try and go for one of these koi fish. We got large bass and koi fish in the river. Let's see, how much room do we have? Yeah. We're gonna follow the river up. The fish right there. Let's go along this side. Top of the hour. Go up this way. Maybe we can find that last fossil spot. That shadow is too small. That's a small shadow too. Maybe this. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh! We got a large bass. There we go. So we got one of the fish that we're looking for, the large bass. So let me get rid of this guy. Boop. There we go. Cool. Now all we need is the koi fish, which is a fish that appears after 4 p.m. So now would be a good time to catch the koi fish. That shadow's not that large. Koi fish is a pretty large fish. Let's try this guy. That's a catfish. Catfish aren't worth anything. So we'll toss him back. Catch and release. Maybe this guy? Ooh. Way off. And... It's a regular bass, right? Yeah, it's a regular one. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Alright. Since we're here, we can sell. So we're going to sell, uh, we're going to sell the two knife jaws, 10 grand, yep, we're going to sell the umbrella, 122, the cabana bookcase I want to look at, we'll go ahead and give him the boot. sea bass. Yep. Whoa, atrocious. We'll sell the stegosaurus torso. 4,500, that's nice. And we'll sell the red snapper. No. And then while we're here, I think it'd be a good idea for us to... Order another axe. So here we can see what the cabana bookcase looks like. So let's order another axe. It'll be here tomorrow, because the axes, they do break. So we'll keep one in uh, as an extra. keep an extra axe just in case one of them breaks and because uh, there's no guarantee that there's going to be an axe in stock. And let's drop the cabana bookcase while we're here. We 
we got our obscene teddy bear oil barrel it's gonna be really hard to keep make this place look nice I want to keep this guy but there's no way to make this room look nice at this at this present moment so I'm just gonna ditch it so it's not in our inventory let's follow the river This guy? He might be too small. Oh, he ran away pretty quick. We're still looking for the uh, the fourth fossil spot. Ooh, I'm kind of curious. Let's hit up the wishing well and see what the wishing well has to say. What errand? How are things? Trees are a thing of beauty, so trees need to be cut down in D4. Oop, there's a weed. Get out of here. Alright, C, D4, so down one. So is this D4? This is D4. Let's chop down some trees that are in the way. Let's go with this guy. Alright. And this one. And let's see what the wishing well says, because I want to see if I can keep the stumps. Probably not. Oh, everything is perfect. YouTube is a very livable place. Nice. So it's our first perfect day. I know we need to do this 15, 15 perfect days in a row for it to count. So I guess these stumps are fine. That was a lot easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to do the runaround everywhere. We'll keep planting uh, flowers now that we have the trees perfect from uh, planting all of our fruit trees. And let's go see fish. Don't be like that. That should be close enough. Should be. No! Oh, ah! Come on. You. Stop sprinting. Dude. But now that we've seen that shadow once, I know that it's possible for us to see it again. Just curious if there's a there's a trick. Maybe he bites on the first try every time. Ah. Or maybe uh, it's harder to catch on a wave bird. I don't know. I've always played GameCube with my wave bird. to see another one of these shadows because watch watch it just completely stop raining all of a sudden <laughs> dude we've gone so many days with rain It'd be really disappointing if it just stops raining for a couple of months there is a fit uh not a fish <laughs> there's a bug in that tree i didn't see it you like it, you want it. Eh. That is terrible. There we go. Now face the shore. Face the shore. Come on, Cletus. Oh. 
Oh, always. Five grand. I am glad that we're getting a lot of knife jaws. Um, I'm not gonna turn around, are you? Perfect. One, two, three, four, and five. Got him. Sea bass. Here? Weird. Could have sworn I saw something. That is a pretty large shadow, guys. Do you think it could be it? One, two, three, four, five. We got it! Would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> we got it. We got it. This fish is worth 15 grand. So, like, part of me, like, I can get rid of it, but part of me, I'll, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it on the overlay, because I love this guy. I caught a living fossil. I didn't know they really existed. So we saw two shadows of this guy today. I wonder if there's a daily catch limit or something. But I'm so happy. We got our golden shovel and the legendary fish in the same episode. I'm glad that I played today. I was debating whether I wanted to or not. The shadow looks a little too small for a koi, but we'll go for it since we're heading towards the museum anyways. All right, be that way. So happy. I was kind of bummed that we missed that first one, but I'm really glad that we caught a second one these conditional things, like it needing to be during the rain. It's kind of a little bit of, a little bit of stress. Let's see what he says to the massive fish. Here you go. The, the colacanth. I cannot pronounce that. Colacanth. Who indeed who? My goodness, glorious. Seen in this light, of course, it's quite a grotesque beast, and yet it does have a certain peculiar allure. You may rest assured that we shall treat it with much affection and respect. My word as a gentle owl. Nice. And we have the large bass as well. This homeboy right here. Only fish we're missing for May now is the koi. Isn't it a kick in the proverbial pants? Quite a spectacular catch you've got here. This might even garner you top honors in one of the fishing tourneys. A splendid specimen. I'll watch over this brute personally. Rest easy on that account. Nice. And that's it. Oh, I'm so happy. Golden shovel and the legendary fish. Still need the fourth fossil spot. I'm really hoping, like, this guy's not gonna change its mind, right? If he says it's perfect today, it's gonna stay perfect today, right? I hope so. Because I have to do 15 perfect days in a row to get the gold max. And, uh, of course I want that. <laughs> the gold max. Ciao, Kiki, Amelia. Hector. So we have a, we have a new guest. kind of curious too because like I don't know if the bugs will come out during uh during the rain but I know one bug comes out from banging your shovel against the rock and uh another comes from needing to listen you hear chirping and then you have to start digging in the, the ground because uh this bug is underground Uh, 
shifter should be up one. What's funny is we waited so long to get the axe, and uh, we only needed to chop down what, two trees? <laughs> Probably because I went ahead and I, uh, I planted so many fruit trees at the beginning. Hector, you look silly. Good evening. Um, not to be blunt, but do I even know you? I don't, do I? Then let me tell you about me. I'm Hector. I'm quite a character. Why are you laughing? I enjoy weightlifting <laughs> and long walks by the dump. Okay. I also say kuha all the time. Kuha. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm trying to break the habit, but it just comes out. Try not to hold it against me. Kuha, darn. Nice. The real bro. I like him already. I can hear something. Whoops. Dug up money because of the shovel. Oops. Not hearing it. Do I need to dig? What's up, homie? It's already 6 p.m. When you're having fun, time just zooms by. Yeah, so what do you need? Nah, I'm trying to find this, this mole cricket. Is it really going to be this difficult to find? Dude. No, I'm not following you. I don't need anything. Whoops, sorry. Definitely can hear this bug. Whoops. Money. Okay. Money? I guess I can't dig right in front of this house. Is it really going to be this difficult? Hearing it now. Money. Can't hear it now. Quieter again. It's gotta be around here. Money. <laughs> I'm gonna fill up on money. I 
gotta be getting close. Move it, Doc. Money. Get out of here. At least I'm digging up a lot of money. Still hear it. I don't know if digging holes ruins your perfect grading or not. At least I'm digging up money, right? Swap it and I can drop it, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and fill in all these holes because I don't know if that ruins my perfect rating. Whoops. Whoops. Definitely louder around here. There's a lot of holes. Digging the same hole would work. Poor cat. No! I wish I could just take it all back. I wish I could have handled the situation better, but it's too late now. Alright. <laughs> Did she piss off, Doc? I thought they always get along. So loud right here. All right, I'm going to cut my losses. Let's see if there's a fossil on the opposite side of the river.
There's a weed. Alright, let's switch the fishing rod. And let's sprint. Or let's not sprint, because it we might get lucky and find the koi fish. Nope. It's a carp. It's a small fish. Whoa. Wave bird. Alright, you're gonna sprint anyway. How are we on inventory? Our inventory is good. Let's go ahead and sell this one fish. And we're gonna sell just the art knife jaw for the five grand. Nope. You come again. And let's uh, do our usual sending the mail. I'm really glad that we have a perfect, perfect town on day one. Welcome. We're gonna mail. Whoop! Not that one. And this one. And this guy. And no. We're going to make a deposit. No. Deposit, homie. Alright, deposit. 60,000. Okay, we can do. Let's do 20. Forty thousand. There we go. All right, so let's call it an episode uh, before I hit the save button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these uh, individual bells and I'll sell these to fish and then I'll save and exit. But at this point here, since the episode's running a little bit longer than normal, uh, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, be sure to smash that like button, definitely, for the golden shovel and for the legendary fish. And uh, I hope you have a good night.